morning, guys. So this morning, Dad's gonna go and take a load of wheat up to the port. That way we can finish cutting wheat today. Maybe start in on some of the rye today. I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to go move the fertigation pump and get that going over on the shins and uh, get an irrigator moved because we have a co-op coming in to do some uh, late season spraying for us. So I'm getting this pivot walked around because it is facing to the west and we need to get it on the lane because this is the field that they're going to spray. Dad forgot to, this is the only field uh, that he forgot to uh, spray residual on. So we got some grass coming in through here and uh, they're gonna come in with drops and I'm not entirely sure if uh, their R4030, I believe that's what they got, either an R4030 or an R4038 is actually going to be able to clear this. I would say this is close to eight feet tall out here, and uh, I'm not entirely sure if they're actually gonna be able to clear this. I know there is a kit though that you can buy for those sprayers that uh, you can adjust the height of those from inside the cab. Uh, that's an aftermarket kit, John Deere does not sell that, but I believe it's from like Simmons Innovations. But uh, yeah, so hopefully they'll be able to spray this with drops and get this grass killed out here because it was just one of those things uh, that we just completely forgot about. And uh, this is the only field, but it's just not, it's not too big of a deal, but we just want to get the grass taken care of. Let's get this set for three tons. Okay, three tons. Set the stop at the stop. It's gonna take about eight hours to do. I'm gonna take the black semi back to the farm since it's full. Neighbors are already down here bailing, at least they were earlier today. Dad's getting ready to finish up the last 10 acres down here, and once we get done with that, we'll see if we're gonna start in on the rye today or not. I mean, the rye's ready to go. Both fields are, the 20 acres there by the farm and the 27 acres by the big irrigator field. Both of them are ready to go. We just don't know if we're gonna start in on it today or not, but we'll see. for wheat harvest for 2020. We decided we're going to go ahead and move over to the 27 acre rye field there by the big irrigated field. We have no clue what this rye is going to make. Uh, this wheat here on this dry land pretty well surprised us. Uh, we did not think it was going to do as good as what it did. Uh, again, I'm not going to discuss yields on the wheat. Uh, I will talk yields on the rye though. So we're going to get that field opened up. Uh, we'll probably go and get the neighbor's wagon and start with that. Uh, because I don't think we're going to get the grain cart out just yet, even though we're going to use the grain cart for rye storage. And uh, you can pretty well put 
oh, just over a thousand bushel on that grain cart. We have a fair amount of rye storage and between the 20 some pro boxes we've got, and I think we can also get one more wagon from the neighbor if we need an extra wagon. So and plus we've got our wagon, our little Parker wagon and uh, the little way wagon. So we've got hopefully enough rye storage if this rye decides to yield really, really good, which hopefully it does. I'm really excited for this. Grain carts hooked up to the 8530. I guess we're gonna start filling the grain cart first before we get the neighbor's wagon. Maybe later today, if not tomorrow, we'll get the neighbor's wagon. Hopefully we'll need two wagons if he has a second one available, if this rye is going to do as good as what I'm hoping it does, but it's a real shot in the dark on this. I have no clue and neither does Dad. Well, we tried it, uh, got the ends opened up on this end, and uh, we cut down one pass, didn't even make it up to the other end because down in that low ground back there, it was actually testing about 18%, and uh, it was a little bit green back there, so not quite ready. Borderline, but not quite, so I would give it another week, and uh, it should go, uh, especially with all this hot, dry weather that we're having, so... That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.